Hi everyone. So it's time to learn to tie another knot. Um, our first one of the week is a stock which looks like this. This one's been tied beautifully. I'm sure lots of you have seen a stock tie before. So first of all, we need to learn a little bit about the stock um, as that's all part of your knots achievement badge. Um, we're going to start with a little bit of history. So the stock tie was worn um, every day by men in the 18th and 19th century. As the 19th century went on, um, it actually became a really formal uh, thing to wear rather than being worn every day. Um, here's a rather old picture of, of one being worn. They were made of maybe gauze or silk um, and they usually were black or white um, a very long time ago. Um, then it became really popular to wear a stock for hunting, but not just because it looks very, very smart. Um, it had other uses. So if um, a horse or even a rider was injured on, on, on the hunting field, it could be used as a bandage or maybe um, a sling for someone who's hurt their arm. Um, obviously, when it's tied round your neck, it would keep any um, wind or rain from going down your collar. So that was another reason that they like to wear a stock on the hunting field. Um, we see them now being worn um, still during hunts, but also in equestrian competitive events. I'm sure many of you recognise this rider um, wearing a stock. Um, so it's worn a lot in dressage, you see them, or the dressage phase of eventing, um, and you sometimes see them being worn in show jumping as well. So that's a bit about the stock. Now, I've got a bit of a confession, I can't tie a stock, but I'm going to learn with you this week. So instead, I've got Georgie, who's going to show you how to tie an extremely neat stock. Um, she's a bit of a pro when it comes to tying stocks. So I'll hand you over to Georgie. Hi, I'm going to show you how to tie a stock. This is the Pony Club stock, and it's, it helps if it's quite well ironed and flat. Um, because you get a smoother finish in the end. Lexi's going to be my model. Now, the front of the stock has a buttonhole, and that buttonhole goes onto the button at the front of your shirt. So let's do that first. Lexi's shirt is a little bit snug, <laughs> but we shall get that off. Okay, now I'm going to pass it around the back, and there's a, a slit here, and this side is going to go through that slit. So, maneuvering around, I've got my slit. I'm going to pass the stock through the slit. Now we want everything to lay nice and flat because then it just looks smarter. Now I've got that round, it's tidy at the back of it, so it's nice and flat at the back, not uncomfortable. It's fairly tight, but there's a, a finger around her neck in enough room. Now I'm going to take this side over this side and make a normal knot. We're pushing up through there, okay? And just move that to the centre. You want the knot in the centre. Now the one that's on top, I'm going to fold over her shoulder. I'm going to take the one underneath. I'm going to go all the way over and then come back through this gap here. Right, now I start to manoeuvre my knot nicely because what I want to end up with a nice flat bit on top. So do you see I'm just manoeuvring the flat bit to the top? And that's making a really lovely shape there. Now, that's, that's a really pretty shape. Now we've got a stock pin here. Always have your stock pin handy and ready. Now I pin through the stock and I just pin it onto the edge of the shirt, being careful not to prick Lexi because she doesn't tend to like <laughs> it. <laughs> Gone through the stock and then I tend to attach it to the shirt holds the stock up nicely in position. My stock pin isn't that sharp. They never are, I find. And then uh, just having it at a slight angle makes it look quite nice, I think. There you go. And that's going to be done up. And there you are. That's Lexi's stock tied nicely. Mm -hmm. 